If you've shot much with your GoPro, you almost certainly know by now. How do you get good sound? And what if you want to connect an external microphone or use an external recorder? How do you do it? Okay, right off the top, you have to admit, the sound on the GoPro, it's not great. This camera is designed to take amazing pictures, but the audio, well, it's almost more of an afterthought. That's especially true when you need to use the waterproof housing. This thing not only keeps out the moisture, it keeps out the sound. One solution is to use a skeleton housing. This thing is designed so that the two microphones on the camera, the one here on the top and the one here on the side, aren't blocked by heavy plastic. By design, these microphones capture everything. Not just the sound coming from the front, but all the background sound too. And if somebody's talking, they have to be close. You can certainly get great audio on a GoPro, but it means you need to pay attention to the sounds that are all around you. And if somebody's talking, you gotta keep them close. That means pay attention to traffic, to crowds, to music. And if it seems kind of loud, you might want to find another location. It's pretty clear that GoPro knows their audio is lame. With the new Hero 5, they added a third mic. Unfortunately, it's still susceptible to wind noise and you still have to be close. If you want to use an external microphone, and trust me, you want to use an external microphone, there aren't any really easy options with the GoPro. Older models used to have a microphone jack, but well, that went away with the Hero 3. Today, about the only solution is to use a mini USB audio adapter. This thing plugs right into the side of your camera, which again, means you're stuck using the non-waterproof skeleton housing. Using an external microphone will make a world of difference. For example, this is the audio from GoPro's internal microphones. And this is the sound from the external mic. But usually when I'm using this camera, it's cold, it's wet, it's crappy. I want good pictures and I want good sound while protecting my camera. That's why we use double system audio. The idea is we record our video here on the GoPro, GoPro, <laughs> dying here, and we record our audio on a separate device. The audience will never hear the sound that's recorded on this camera but we'll stitch it back together in editing. Okay, I think we're done now. When shooting double system sound, there are three things to remember. The first, what device are you using? For me, I like to rely on a professional recording device. This is an H4n, sometimes I'll use an H6. These things are reliable, they record WAV files, and the audio plays back at an accurate speed. The playback speed of your audio is really important. You may not notice that your audio is playing slightly faster or slightly slower when you just listen to it. But in editing, when you sync it together, your audio may begin to drift ahead or behind your picture. In just a few moments, it can look like a badly dubbed foreign film. Annoying, huh? One problem is I don't always have one of these with me when I'm shooting. Besides, there has got to be a cheaper way. That's when I turn to my smartphone. Yeah, okay, you can use the microphone that's in the phone. It's not great, but it's gonna sound better than the audio you're gonna capture in your GoPro in a waterproof housing. But usually I turn to one of the myriad of microphones made specifically for a smartphone. For example, this is a lavalier, a microphone small enough that I can hide in people's clothing during an interview, or a stereo microphone for capturing environmental sound. Unfortunately, you can't simply open up the audio memo app on your iPhone and start recording. The playback speed is way off. No, you need to use an app. The one I rely on most often is a free audio recording app from Zoom called the Handy Recorder. The quality is acceptable and it allows me to record a WAV file which plays back more accurately than an MP3. One cool thing about using your smartphone to record audio is you can use more than one. It's like having a bunch of wireless microphones. These uh, volunteers behind me have two different phones with two different microphones. iPhone with Micronic. Galaxy with MXL. You can hear them just fine up close, but... Hi. Hi. Their audio is clean no matter how far away they go. Pretty cool, huh? I'm not getting paid for this. 
Another thing to remember is you need a reference on every video file. Not just once during your shoot, but every time you stop and start your camera. Usually the audio captured with the camera's onboard microphones will work for reference. Even the muffled audio from the GoPro's waterproof housing. In editing, we use the reference sound from the camera to line up the sound from the recorder. That's how we can tell everything is in sync. That's great if the sound recorded by your camera isn't too garbled, but all too often the sound source, the person, Once again, I said, is too far away from the camera to be heard clearly. <coughs> That's when it's time to use a visual sync point. You may have noticed these things in old movies. It's called a clapperboard. One of the reasons why we use it is it gives you a sync point with both sound and picture. But you don't need to carry a clapperboard. You can just clap. It helps if you can see the person who's clapping in your footage. The clapping will help you line things up in editing, and the great thing about clapping is it's reliable and it's free. The third thing to remember when shooting double system sound is use the right microphone. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of different microphones out there. Each has their pluses and minuses. But for me, I rely on one of two types of microphones. The one I use most often is called a lavalier or lapel microphone. You can clip it on a shirt or hide it in clothing. We use it most often for interviews. The other microphone is called a shotgun or directional microphone. It's more sensitive to the sound in the front of it than the sound on the side. You still have to be close to get good audio and I use it most often for environmental sound. So there you have it, three different ways you can improve the audio on your GoPro. If you're going to rely on the onboard microphones, try not to use the waterproof housing and always remember to get close. Plug in an external microphone whenever you can. And don't be afraid to go with double system sound. It'll make a world of difference. Just remember to always give yourself a sync point. I know you'll do great. Good luck.